How's it going, everyone? Got a couple of updates to go over on a couple of free-to-play PlayStation titles, one of them already out in Path of Exiles. However, it's getting its latest free expansion later this month. Arc Raiders, an upcoming free-to-play title, has been delayed to 2023. This was scheduled for a release in 2022. Marvel's Midnight Suns, another game that's been delayed. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's the Marvel title that's being done by Fraxis, more of a tactical strategy game. Unfortunate to see that. We'll talk about that. And Saints Row Reboot is coming later this month. Seems like some people are really excited for it, other people not so much, but it's gotten a brand new trailer. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Path of Exile is one of the most content-rich free-to-play titles that you're going to come across, and it's one of those games that you can play and not sink a ton of money into. You can just play it and enjoy it. Lake of Calandra is the latest expansion to Path of Exile, and it's coming with a lot of new content and features. A ton of new skill gems have been added and a bunch of other content as well, but the major thing is the Calandra Challenge League. Challenge Leagues are a great opportunity for a fresh start in a new economy. All your old characters and items are still present in the Standard and Hardcore Leagues, but you're encouraged to join the new leagues, complete challenges, and demonstrate your mastery of Path of Exile. In the Challenge League, you'll travel to the mirrored lake that granted Calandra her powers of reflection. Her lake itself has the power to reflect entire encounters from elsewhere. As you explore the lake, these reflections emerge from its mirrored surface. I'll leave a link in the description box below with the full patch notes with the expansion and all the information because there's a ton to go over. Path of Exile, again, a free-to-play game. One of the most popular free-to-play games on the planet. Been around for a while. Uh, the console version, from my experience, has been pretty decent. It's not a game that I'm going to be super invested into, just because it definitely is a grind, and you can sink a lot of hours into it. I have buddies that have played Path of Exile for north of 800 hours, and, you know, at that level, that's a lot of time to be sinking into a game. But, yeah, it does offer that level of content. All right, moving on from that. Arc Raiders is an upcoming free-to-play title that was scheduled for release in 2022. Unfortunately, it has been delayed to 2023, a free-to-play cooperative action shooter. Arc Raiders looks to be a pretty ambitious free-to-play title, a reimagined cooperative action shooter that offers an intense struggle in every session. Together with your squad, defend our home and resist the onslaught of Arc, a ruthless mechanized threat descending from space. The official note on the delay notes this. We've made the decision to delay Arc Raiders to 2023. Arc Raiders is an ambitious game, and we will be using this extra time to expand the experience and allow it to reach its fullest potential. We will be diving more into detail as soon as we start to test the game more extensively with players. The excitement around Arc Raiders since its reveal has been so encouraging for us, and we truly appreciate the support. The game is scheduled for release on PlayStation 5, so this is a next-gen exclusive title, and visually speaking, I mean, based on the screenshots and the bit of gameplay we've seen, uh, it does look quite good from a technical standpoint, so it'll be interesting to see how that's realized on the PlayStation 5. Uh, again, a uh, free-to-play title, but it does have a cooperative emphasis, so you probably are gonna want to have a couple of friends to jump into the game with. Alright, moving on from that, another delay, that being Marvel's Mint Night Suns. That's been delayed later this fiscal year for PlayStation 5, Play, uh, Xbox Series, and PC, and later for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Originally scheduled for release on October the 7th, it has now been delayed to later this fiscal year. The fiscal year ends in the first quarter of 2023 at the end, so March 31st. That's when the next generation version is going to come out, and then the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch versions are going to follow after that. There's a tactical title done by Firaxis Games. You guys probably know them for their work on XCOM, so them doing a tactical strategy game uh, with Marvel, that makes a lot of sense, and that does have a lot of potential. The message on this delay notes, we have an important update to share regarding our launch date for Marvel's Midnight Suns. After discussing with the team, we've made the decision to move back the launch timing of Marvel Midnight Sun to ensure we are delivering the best possible experience for our fans. We'll launch later this fiscal year for Windows PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5 with the Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch versions following at a later date. We know fans are looking forward to playing Marvel's Midnight Suns, and we will use this extra time to make sure we are delivering the best possible experience for everyone. Marvel Marvel's Midnight Suns is easily the biggest game we've ever made, and we're incredibly appreciative of all the support players have shared with us throughout the years. Looking forward to how the game turns out. As you guys probably know, I'm not like a big superhero guy, but I loved XCOM. I thought XCOM Enemy Unknown and XCOM 2 were both tremendous tactical titles. And again, 
Not into Marvel, also not into tactical games, but uh, the idea of Firaxis doing a tactical game, that does get me pretty excited given my uh, enjoyment out of uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown and XCOM 2, which, by the way, those two games go on sale all the time, so if you're looking for a game that you can jump into, a little bit more hardcore if you want it to be, and... Uh, you know, it's a tactical title. X, uh, XCOM 2 is a great one. Enemy Unknown, unfortunately, not available on PS4 or PS5. But hey, thumbs the brakes. And as far as Midnight Sun goes, honestly, is it delayed that bad? This fall's looking pretty stacked. So it coming out early 2023, not the worst thing in the world. And I foresee that being for a lot of games, like Forspoken, another game. Like, we were talking about that game getting a second delay a while ago, and that happened, and I think it's gonna be the best for that game, because I think that game could use more polish, and in the case of Midnight Suns, honestly, an early 2023 release seems to make a lot more sense, at least in my eyes. Lastly, Saints Row the reboot has gotten a gameplay overview trailer. Speaking of delays, another game that was scheduled for a release earlier this year and ultimately delayed. They have released a six minute gameplay overview trailer for the game. It's a really interesting game in the sense that uh, talking to people, it seems like it is very, very polarizing. Like I'm talking to people that are super excited for the game. Maybe they love the wackiness and the over the top nature that Volition games typically have. But then I also talk to other people being like, what is going on with this? They don't really get the appeal of Saints Row and et cetera, et cetera. In the case of Saints Row Reboot, it is gonna be an opportunity for Volition to draw in new people while also retaining their core audience. And I did think Saints Row was getting a little bit stale. So watching this gameplay overview trailer, like if you are familiar with Saints Row and you enjoy the over the top aspect of the game, I think this is gonna be right up your alley. I'm still getting that vibe from a technical standpoint. I think it looks okay. The story seems rather interesting and again, seems to have a bit of wackiness attached to it. I'm excited for the game. I'm, am I expecting this to be a 10 out of 10 or even a 9 out of 10? No, Saints Row has really never been that. But am I expecting something that's gonna be an open world, uh, you know, sandbox of fun? Yeah, that's what Saints Row has always been. And I really, even as a reboot, yes, I'm definitely getting the reboot aspect of it and how this game is definitely different than Saints Row the Third and Saints Row 4, but it still feels like an over-the-top, wacky, open-world sandbox game that's gonna be a ton of fun that maybe you don't have to get too invested into all of the characters or get too emotionally attached into the narrative or, uh, yeah, things like that. I'm excited for it, but I know for a lot of people, probably not gonna be a game they're gonna drop $60 on. I could easily see this game doing really well, like, in the fall, later in the fall, when it gets down to $35, $30, just because I do think uh, it's going to go on sale fairly quickly. That's just my hunch with it, and I tend to have a decent hunch when it comes to games going on sale quickly. However, uh, trust me, that's not rocket science anymore. Like You guys can figure that out as well. Nonetheless, I think the gameplay overview trailer looked pretty good. Game itself is going to be coming August 23rd, hit, running the gamut of platforms PS5, Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, on PC, it is an Epic Game Store exclusive. Exclusive. But that is going to do it for me. Again, Path of Exile getting yet another free expansion that will be coming to PS4 on August the 25th. A full link with the patch notes is going to be in the description box below. Arc Raiders, unfortunately, delayed to 23. Marvel's Midnight Suns, unfortunately, delayed to 23. Saints Row Reboot, on the other hand, brand new trailer for that. And I think it looks quite good. I think what I should say is I think it looks like a lot of fun. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you watch that trailer and you can't see the fun factor out of that game... Um, I don't know what to say. Like, I think it looks like a lot of fun. But that's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.